Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl April and this is going to be a real quick, well I'm not going to say it's going to be real quick, but it's going to be a get ready with me with this wig by It's a Wig and it is called Swiss Lace Boston in the color TT30. You can pick this one up amongst some of the makeup that I'm going to be using from samsbeauty.com. Along with that, this is also going to be a giveaway, so make sure you stay tuned for the instructions, directions, or just... <laughs> ways of how you can win some things from samsbeauty.com so yes you guys i hope you enjoyed this video keep in mind all the links and info will be posted for you girls below and i hope you enjoyed this and like i said it ain't gonna be that real quick but we're gonna make it as quick as possible so yes you guys stay tuned all right love so we're gonna start off with this skin moisturizer that I got from Beautycon. I actually really do like this. It kind of like tones your skin, hydrates it. I don't need too much hydration because my skin is oily. And we're going to start off with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in yellow. This is just to even my eyelid tone out, you know, with the rest of my skin. But I'm also going to use it as a, um, eyeshadow base because you don't have to really actually go out and buy eyeshadow base you can or eyeshadow primer you can use concealer and it will allow the eyeshadow to pop and adhere so sometimes I use this sometimes I use eyeshadow base whichever it really doesn't matter and I'm just gonna buff that into my eyelids and then to make my eyelids even more um, toned I'm gonna use my Too Faced pressed powder I love this stuff because it smells like chocolate and I'm also gonna be using my Milani pressed powder in the color dark tan which I actually got from Walgreens greens because it was on clearance and it was my color last one I was lucky and there goes my sweetheart which is my grandson who turned to January 2nd now I'm gonna go into this really inexpensive eyeshadow palette which you can pick up at Sam's Beauty these are all matte colors they do have an array of different eyeshadows and especially in this collection here but I went for the matte collection I love matte eyeshadow not too glimmery you know what I'm saying and I want something neutral so I'm going to take the lightest color I'm going to put that under my brows and this pencil which also came from um, Sam's Beauty I'm gonna just kind of like fix my eyebrow because normally what I use is the um, Anastasia brow um, pomade or I also have been using ColourPop which is just the same thing but way cheaper but I'm gonna touch it up with this eye pencil this eye pencil is cool because it comes with a sharpener on one end which I do like now into that palette this is more like a rustic a rusty color kind of like burnt orange Orange, rusted brown. I like the color either way. And I'm going to take this really cheap eyeshadow brush, which is from Wet n Wild. You know, Dollar Tree Girls. And I'm just going to use this fluffy brush. <clears throat> this brush works really, really well. And it just kind of like, you know, applies the shadow. So you want to take that back and forth like windshield wiper motions and just do your makeup. So you see how pretty the color came out? It's just like a really, really pretty color. I'm going to go into this brown this dark brown now this one I have to kind of like um apply a little bit more because I want it a little bit darker but I'm going to take a more dense brush and I'm going to use that and like I said you can get this eyeshadow palette at Sam's Beauty where you can find basically anything from hair makeup hair accessories hair care products and such and things of that nature you can get your whole beat face and hair did from Sam's Beauty and I'm not really going for anything dramatic, just something basic, you know, simple. Sometimes little is a lot. And listen, I love the neutral looks because you cannot go wrong with a neutral look, girls. So I'm just going to smoke that brown in. Now I'm going to go back into that palette. I'm going to use like this very, very light yellow. More or less, it's kind of like a beige on my eyelids, but it's just to brighten my lower lid. So that way it has somewhat of a color. I really didn't want much color to it, but you know, a girl need a little bit of color. And I'm going to hook it up with this Santee liquid eyeliner for a dollar. You girls know I love inexpensive anything. And I love this brush because it reminds me so much of my Milani Stay Put Matte Eyeliner Brush. It is the brush, honeys. It is the apple applicator on it that makes it so easy because you guys know I am not that great at eyeliner so yes this winged out look is coming along really well and if you don't find this you can find something very similar to this type of eyeliner on Sam's Beauty and I'm happy so that's why I was dancing I was only happy because the eye came out right that was the main focus okay like focus y'all yes the focus when we're doing that winged look 
And now back to the oldies, but goodies, you know, they don't make music like they used to. So Brian McKnight back at one. Yes. I just went on a spending spree on iTunes and bought a whole bunch of old school albums. Okay. Brian McKnight, Donnell Jones, well, Chris Breezy's old, old, old ones, like a bunch of stuff and have been jamming out since. Now for my face, I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Full Coverage Foundation. And this is in the color Bamboo. I really do like this. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a foundation in my color tone from Sam's Beauty. I mean, I do have one, but it was very dark. It's more or less for brown skin women. So that wouldn't have worked for me. So I'm just going to use my sponge here, which is from Real Techniques. And I'm going to apply that. And it kind of looked a little bit orange. That's the reason why I always blend too because I can never get like an exact match and plus my skin is oily so this kind of makes my skin kind of like patchy and dry I don't know I have to find one that really really wins me over but once I do all of my other work my magic it will come together so I'm just going to go ahead and take the LA Girls Pro Concealer Yellow and I'm going to just put a little bit under my eyes right here just to highlight and it's going to dull the color down why do I feel like I look like an oompa loompa I think it also is the lighting um because the sun kept messing up in my video going out going in I hate that now you see the colors changing so anyway I'm just going to take that concealer and I'm just going to blend it into my skin with my real techniques beauty blender I like to wait until the product dries a little bit before I start blending it in because if you don't it's just going to kind of like vanish into your skin then you're gonna have to put more that is the one thing that I've learned now into the NYX Cream Contour Highlight Palette. I love this thing. I have not used it in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and use the highlight color underneath my eyes. I think it comes in like two different colors if I'm not mistaken. And yes, I will have to do a full face video using only one product. That is what I want to do next. Maybe I'll get up early in the morning and do that. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. But this is really a great, good cream contour kit. It's really inexpensive. I love NYX. They got some really great stuff. And you can just get them on the NYX products just about anywhere. Also, LA Girls has some really nice stuff too. The LA Girls Pro Concealer is also available at Sam's Beauty as well. I'm just going to take my sponge and I'm going to go into my face and blend it in. You know, I'm not like a huge fan of cream um, contouring all the time, so I don't do it as much. It just takes a little bit more work and you have to be precise, so I don't really do it as much. And plus, because my skin is oily, my skin kind of like eats it up, so... Yeah, that's another reason why I really don't use a lot of cream. Now into my next Black Label Press Powder, I'm going to be using the Soft Beige. And that's just going to be used as a base to highlight underneath my eyes. You know, like a setting, like, you know, banana powder, um, that Sasha butter stuff, and all that good stuff. I'm going to use that as this. It's the same stuff, actually. You know? And yeah, my face looks a little weird right here. Um, but trust me, it's going to all come together. It always looks weird always now to the caribbean collection five shadow palette by nyx i just want this like beige color and it really didn't work out too well well somewhat you do see a little bit of color but you know what ladies we want to brighten it up somewhat or darken it deepen it whatever you want to call it so i'm going to use that brown but I'm also going to be going back into this palette, which I like. I like this orange. It's very, very pretty. Like I said, it's like a rust color orange. It's so pretty. And you can use it. It's great for transition color, depending on your skin color. But it's a beautiful color. Regardless, on any skin color, it's a beautiful color. And then I'm going to take my Essence Triple Black Lash Mascara, which is so cheap, like $2.99. And I'm going to, like blacken and thicken those individual lashes that I've had on for probably like a week and a half now and I'm also going to do that on the bottom okay I love to do the bottom lashes because you can just really, really see them come together versus not seeing them at all. And when you put the mascara on, that's when I could really see them. I mean, I could really go in and keep doing it for like longer and longer, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do that much and that's it. And I'm going to go back into the Milani Press Powder and now I'm going to set my entire face and kind of like bring it all together because I'm looking a little crazy. 
And I'm, you know what? I'm in a really good place. I'm happy and I'm singing. So I decided I would just contour some more, this time with some dry powder. And this is the NYX Go-To Palette. I love this one too. It has highlight, bronzer, um, contour, and shadows. Girls, you cannot go wrong. But I did drop it the other day and one of my shadows broke. No biggie because it was like the white one on the top left corner. So I'll just use the highlight. It kind of looked the same anyway. And I'm using the highlight now for my inner tear duct. And I'm going to also be using this Ruby Kisses Glow Bronzer, which is also available at Sam's Beauty. This is a really pretty color. There is a lot of different colors in this collection by Ruby Kisses. Um, I went for this one here. It's a gorgeous color, and I just want a little bit of a shimmer. Not too much, so I decided to take a bigger brush and <laughs> distribute that onto my face. But it's very pretty. It's a very pretty color, so check them out on Sam's Beauty for this. And also for the giveaway, I know you guys are interested in knowing what you're going to get you're actually going to win the exact same wig that I have on or I'm going to be putting on or you've seen me put on in the beginning of this video and that one is a gorgeous gorgeous wig it is the Boston wig and I think it was by it's a wig oh my god don't quote me it is by it's a wig Boston I think Yes, it's a wig, Boston, and you will win that. All you need to do is follow the instructions in the description bar, which is basically make sure that you follow them on social media, but I'll post all the info for you guys below. And this is a gorgeous matte lipstick, which is Absolute New York. Every last one of these lipsticks did come from Sam's Beauty. You can get them from there. You guys know I love like the matte color light lipsticks, but yes, more or less like a fall winter kind of look. And more or less this look is just for the hair because it kind of went well with the hair. But yeah, Sam's Beauty, you can get basically everything at Sam's Beauty from hair, makeup, tools, and such. But if you are interested in getting a wig, this wig here, isn't it gorgeous? Like, I think it's so pretty. It is a 4x4 silk-based lace closure kind of like synthetic wig, which means you can kind of like part the hair anyway anywhere within that perimeter of the silk base closure um, and you can actually flip the hair over easy it's very easy to wear that unit it does have adjustable straps in the nape and the combs in the front but it's a wig is a bomb company now this like I said is Swiss lace so it's not the hard lace and you know me I always have my tips and tricks of how I will lay my wig but yes girls I'm not really sure if you're going to win the same exact color but you will be winning the same exact wig and and all you need to do is follow Sam's Beauty on social media. So I decided to change the background because, you know, too close up is a little bit too close up sometimes. And I'm just going to hook it up with some of my favorite tools that I always use. But like I was saying, this wig is gorgeous. It's by It's a Wig and the name of it is Boston. And I'll post the color below, which is the TT30. And very natural looking. It is synthetic, but it is very natural. It's not too silky texture of a hair. But this one, as well as many others, you can find at samsbeauty.com. You ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is our new two. 2017 giveaway and I wish you all a wonderful and beautiful blessed happy new year and I thank you all for staying tuned with me for this long and like I said I hope you enjoy this video it is time for some selfies and yeah let me know what you think of this one make sure you rate comment subscribe I love you guys and I'll see you in a soon to come video bye when she's dropping the floor for a Batman, nah, 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 nah.